Hello there everybody, I'm Bricks here with another video, I'm sorry we're not in my studio, this is more a video for um, me, but for my business that I've talked about a little bit so far on the channel, and Bricks is Lego Emporium, as I think I'll be calling it, here are all my figures that I'm willing to sell. Now, um, I've decided not to sell different variant figures, for example, Captain America with hair, I'm not selling, okay? Uh, and um, I'll explain some more on that later. And I'm not selling outdated figures. For example, this is an old Darth Maul, though we have a newer one with a creepy smile. So I will keep the outdated and the different variant, as I call it. But here's the thing. I have two of these, and I don't need to. So these are all duplicate, just straight up duplicates, not different variants, as in they're wearing different clothes or they don't have their helmet on. Not outdated whereas they're old like they will be outdated and old but they are duplicate so i do have a figure exactly like them in my collection because i decided why well, keep all the duplicates when i could sell them and make a lot of money so here's my uh, kind of price range i've come up with so again more for myself but all these city figures i'm going to sell for two dollars each because they all came in a people pack and they're not uh, that hard to get now these are three dollars because uh zane comes in that small set harry ron come in small sets hermione you know uh you can get her in a lot of sets zane again and um kai come in the small sets nia and cole actually have little holes on their helmets an accident i did so that's the reason for that and then the old spider-man um huh what the okay chewy is actually okay sorry because i have to my mic's broken. This is really hard for me. But Chewy is actually supposed to be three dollars. But uh, sorry, four dollars. Four dollars. Yeah, four dollars. And then there we got R two, the old one, which is gonna be three bucks. Now four dollar figures. We got a Snape, some guys with hairs, and then a lot of CMF ones because that's how much they cost, so they're not too desirable. BB eight right there. Uh, the Chewies, the old Chewies, the Rockets, because he comes in cheap $20 sets. Captain America and Black Widow, because they also come in, like, battle packs, right? So, we've done two, three, four, we're on five. Uh, these are blind bag characters that are desirable, mainly. Like, these four, they're from blind bags, but they're desirable, so you pay $1 to know what's in them. These are the Quidditch uniforms, which I think are going to be hot sellers. Um, Cole and Jay are usually harder to find. And then Captain America, who's not old, as I call him, even though the only difference is a beard, is usually um, worth more. And then the Falcon and Bruce, which come in like, what, that big Thor Ragnarok set, and then the Hulkbuster. And then that old Yoda, Rubberhead Yoda, and Teenage Groot, which he's more desirable than Rocket, so I'm charging a dollar more. Here are the six dollar figures, so we did two, three, four, five, now we're up to six. Darth Vader, old helmet for nostalgic people. <laughs> and then you got the Anik uh, Battle Damage Anakin, which everybody loves. Darth Maul, the old variant. Rey, she's going to be cool. Uh, Boba Fett, obviously everyone loves him. And then he has a little hole on his head as well. And then that's why he's not like higher. But then we got a Luke Skywalker. Old Luke is going to be collectible for uh, those collectors. And then Scooby-Doo's. A Gandalf with hair, not hat. So that's worth more with his two accessories. And then a disguised Garmadon, or as I call him, a work Garmadon. I don't know, that's just a name I made up for him. But he's actually flashback Garmadon. But, uh, and then Peter Quill with a little hole on his head, or else, again, he'd be higher. Now these four, it's gone two, three, four, five, six, but these are not seven. These are different price points, mainly eight to ten dollars eight to uh ten dollars yeah or eight to twelve dollars because thor i could see going for eight because he's super um sought after approximately midnight would also go for eight vision would go for ten uh iron man mark 50 everyone loves that suit and the cheapest set is a 60 dollar hall of armor so he'd go for like what i believe 12 bucks and then the ewok is super rare he'd go for 12 bucks different than the one re-released in uh this 2019 year set so yeah that's kind of, uh, sorry about the blur. What's up with that? One sec. Okay, there we go. So yeah, that's my basic price range. From $2 to $6 in the rows, and then these um, five extra figures that are worth a bit more. So yeah, that's it for this video. And I hope you liked it. And by the way, all this money that I earned from this would go into other Lego sets. So I'm trading my duplicate Legos, but they're 
straight up duplicates, so I don't really need them. So uh, I'd rather have new Lego sets. But I might keep the Ewok because he's actually kind of rare. But that's it for this video. I hope you liked it. And if you did, please subscribe, leave a comment down below, and I'll talk to you again soon. Bye.